What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Roger's Spring. Let's fish that. All right, guys, seems like everywhere I go, I find a Roger Spring. Now, whether that means there's a Roger out there walking around, uh, finding springs and naming them Roger, Roger Springs, that I don't know. However, I would like to explain where exactly I am. We are in the Lake Mead recreational area. The little blue part down there on the far side of the screen, that is Lake Mead. That is the Overton side of Lake Mead. This is the Overton Arm coming up here. And right behind that, we have the little Rogers Spring. All right, guys, welcome to the new year. Hopefully this will be a good year for me as I hope to have lots of firsts this year and to get the ball started, uh, I would like to do something that's gonna be a first for the location that I'm at and hopefully get some new species to add to my life list. So if you use the app Fishbrain, uh, you'll know that they have locations on the map where you can insert the type of fish that you've caught in these locations. It's a great way to find out what type of fish are in the area, what fish you can target, stuff like that. However, here at Rogers Springs, there has not been any fish caught as of yet. Hopefully I can catch some fish today and be the first person to add something on fish brain about this little spot. So you might then ask but why haven't there been any fish caught from this spring as of to date? The uh, reason for that is quite simple. Uh, there are no game fish in this spring. There are fish however in these waters. Um, I'm going to try and attempt to catch them today. Uh, but first I want to give out a shout out to Leo from Extreme Philly Fishing. Uh, I've been watching some of his videos trying to hone in my skills on doing micro fishing. I'm doing some micro fishing because uh, that is what I'm going to have to use today to catch any fish from these springs. To know more about what fish are in these springs, we have to first have a look at Roger Springs history. All right, guys, so Roger Spring is actually a warm water spring. Current temperatures range anywhere between 80 to 90 degrees, depending on the season. We are currently in winter, so it's closer to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's something like 28 degrees Celsius. One of the native fish species that were in these waters uh, was believed to be one of the small little pupfish that I had in another video. But these pupfish are believed to be extinct and no longer in these waters. A survey done in 1949, uh, they found no native fish in these waters. Because of the temperatures of these waters, in the 1950s, some people decided that this will be an ideal location for tropical fish to make a hatchery out of this little pond. Since then, there's been a few different species of fish stocked. However, in the 60s, there were concerns about these fish heading to Lake Mead um, and these fish were poisoned. Uh, the fish that we have here today are the survivors of that um, they found something like 14 different species of fish in these waters. That is why I'm here today to see if I can catch some of these fish as none of them would be anything that I have on my life list as of yet. So catching anything from these waters would mean a new fish species to add to my life list. It's going to be difficult to identify these fish uh, based on the information I have of fish that they say they have stocked in here. Uh, I'll try and figure out what type of fish it is 
if I catch any. But enough talk for now, let's get to some fishing. Alright guys, quick disclaimer before I get to fishing. This is no longer a fish hatchery. Uh, the fish that are here are tropical fish that have been stocked. However, I've been asked by the rangers to please not use anything like nets or anything like that. Only hooks and fishing line can be used as this is a place where we have a very endangered frog living in these ponds as well. Uh, so not to damage anything. We can only target these fish using fishing line and small hooks. If you have by now gotten the idea to come and catch these fish to take them to your home, into your own home aquarium or something like that, I would please want to ask you to reconsider. Firstly, the water temperatures um, are quite high here. If you take these fish out, uh, they probably won't survive the hour's drive back to your house. Uh, with the decrease in the temperature and waters, these fish might go belly up, so you will end up with dead fish at home. Furthermore, there is a parasite in these waters. The spring was known for a time as the Slimming Spring. Uh, people drinking the water got very, very ill, very slim, um, and some of them actually died because there is a parasite in these waters. If it enters your nose or eyes or anything like that, uh, it can be deadly. So keep that in mind. If you want to remove anything from these waters, you might remove these parasites along with that. All right, guys, I'm going to be using my light setup with very small hooks. Let's see if we can get some of these fish. All right, guys, first one. All right, guys. We have our first little fish. Quickly gonna take a couple of photos of him and then we'll be releasing him back into the water. All right, so quickly gonna get this little guy off the hook. I believe this to be a small little cichlid, perhaps a band cichlid, crossbred with something. I'm gonna give this guy a moment to recuperate and then we'll let him back into the water. First new species. Let's see if there's any more to be gotten out of this little pond. Trying to catch one of these smaller fish. I believe them to be some kind of mollies. Got one. All right, guys. You can see it's hooked in the mouth. This has to be one of the little mollies. Quickly gonna get pictures on this one and then let it go as well. All right, guys, on having a closer look at this little guy, this might actually not be a molly, but might actually be some kind of mosquito fish. Gonna get him back into the water. And off he goes. All right, guys, another cichlid. Beautiful colors on this one. Keeping my little fish tank in the water to keep the water acclimated, to not be as stressful on these little guys going into a colder jar. i quickly gonna get a photo of this one and then release him.
All right, guys, so chicklets are actually native to Africa. Uh, you have to go to one of the big lakes like Lake Nairobi or something like that if you want to catch chicklets. Uh, catching them here in America is a weird idea to me. However, it is nice to add a new fish to my life list, even if it is and the Lake Mead recreational area. All right, guys, another one of these spotted little chicklets. Already got a few photos of these, so I'm going to let this one go. All right, guys, I think I finally managed to get my little molly. Beautiful little guy. Quickly going to get a photo and get him back into the water. All right, guys, that is what I believe is the three most prominent species of fish in these waters. Uh, I will now try and find fish that look interesting and try to catch them. They're all rather hungry, so it's quite difficult, but I'll see if I can get any interesting fish. Another one of these little mosquito fish. Not the one that I was hoping would take the bait. But a cool catch, nonetheless. This one has a nice blue and orange belly.
All right, guys, it's been lots of fun catching all these small little fish. Quite a lot of them. Obviously, I'm not showing you all of the footage. However, I am going to do some research, try and figure out what fish these are. And I'll show you guys a couple of photos after this. Alrighty guys, uh, remember to hit the big red subscribe button, it's free for you guys, it just helps out my channel. Also click the little bell icon next to that if you want to have YouTube notify you of when I upload any new videos. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a little thumbs up. And please feel free to leave any comments. Just be respectful when you do leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.